Hi there, welcome back to another video of Lauren Hardy and Chaplin Collectibles. In this video I found this uh, magazine I have which is called The History of Lauren Hardy and uh, really really nice vintage original old old magazine. I love that shot there at the back there, that's from Lauren Hardy's Laughing Twenties and at the top there it's got your laugh your pants off, that's just so funny the way that's been, all been put in. Um, and of course you've got the front there which is from uh, Sons of the Desert and uh, this magazine is actually, this is 1976 and uh, it's just filled with random articles about their films, their co-stars, the listing of their um, solo projects, uh, Stan Law solo work and a list of Ollie's solo work and then a list of uh, the Lauren Hardy cartoons and uh, it's a really great great old vintage uh, magazine um, but there was one article of interest which is um, which is on this page here which is this one here which is about Larry Harmon who is the creator of the Lauren Hardy cartoons and the merchandise meaning uh, figures and toys and like bed sheets bits and pieces all on the Lauren Hardy cartoons and this would be Larry Harmon that's him there who's also a uh, or was a uh, comic and uh, that's uh, an autograph there that was signed to him uh, back in the day and um, I'm going to try and read this whole article so uh, um, do forgive me if I get any of the words wrong but I'm going to try and read the whole thing and uh, see see how I get on but um, it's quite interesting because it gives you an insight into who Larry Harmon was and the creation of the, the Lauren Hardy uh, cartoons which is not long after Stan Laurel's death so uh, starting off with 15 years ago it was my good fortune to acquire the rights to the likeness and characters of Stan Law and Oliver Hardy as fortune often changes. Five years ago I was forced to instigate a major federal lawsuit against Hal Roach Studios, Richard Fenner and overseas programming who challenged the rights I purchased from Stan and Ollie's widows. As costly and deliberating as the lawsuit was, I firmly believed that the law would side with Stan and Ollie's widows and me. After five years, my belief had proved true. In June 1975, federal judge Charles Stewart ruled in what is now a landmark decision that the widows of Stan Law and Oliver Hardy and Larry Harm Pictures are the sole processors of rights to merchandise and utilise the likeness of Stan Law and Oliver Hardy. While I chanced to lose a considerable amount of money if the lawsuit was decided against me, it was not only consideration that made me fight so against the Roach Studios. Fenner oversees programming and the other of Larry Harm picture rights to Lauren Hardy, but I promised Stan in 1960 that I would protect the rights of the widows and not let his and Ollie's characters be banded about. Stan trusted me with the most precious entry he owned, his comic creation. While I will always consider it a marvellous business venture to have acquired the rights to Laura and Hardy, there is one precious jewel I had which can never be equaled the close friendship which developed as a result between Stan Lowell and me. Now this is quite interesting how uh, Larry Harmon's uh, relationship with Stan Lowell towards the end of his life. Uh, before meeting Stan I had studied comedy all my life. In fact when I was a kid in the Midwest I went to see a, Lau uh, sorry, a Lauren Hardy movie almost every Saturday. By 1960 I had produced hundreds of animated cartoons and developed Bozo the Clown which was in um, Larry Harmon's uh, comic creation international TV personality. 
I knew something about comedy, but only a fraction of what I was to learn from my personal associate with Stan over the next five years. My aware of Lauren Hardy team and their style of humour grew week by week, month by month, as our friendship grew and with and with it grew the realisation of the great responsibility which rested on my shoulders to perpetuate for future generations and humour, warmth and style of the greatest team in history and the most beloved. The more I saw and talked with Stan, the more I came to understand the universal appeal of their humour. And as Stan and I worked together projecting Lauren Hardy for new generations, the more I began to think and react like him. But I didn't realise I had begun to talk like Stan until he called me one day to tell me which one of hundreds of actors, tapes, impersonations I had sent him he felt was closest to the real Stan Laurel. We were preparing the Lauren Hardy cartoon series. I answered the phone and he said, hello Larry, and I said, hello Stan. Then he said, that's right lad, you know what? And I said, no, what Stan, I think I'm talking to myself. Look, forget all those tapes you sent me. I want you to be my voice. I can't even tell the difference. Then he told me, you know, I never used to like to cry in pictures. It was an accident when I did it for the first time. I never really liked to do it. So from now on, if you don't mind, I don't want to cry anymore. I want you to do it for me. Stan never cried again to make the world's belly shake with laughter and though he was in great pain towards the end he was full of life not tears his life ended as he lived it with his unusual flair of humor shortly before his death he was in a coma but he managed to pull out of it briefly and make a motion to the male nurse to come over to him everything was white the sheets, the walls, the nurse, nurse's uniform and the male nurse in his white uniform was a mountainous man who weighed 200, 250 pounds. The nurse unzipped the oxygen tent, bent close to Stan. Stan made a gesture with his hand at the whiteness surrounding him and whispered to the nurse, it's too bad I don't have my skis with me. So meaning by that his humour stayed with him right till his last his last moment basically uh, a month before I had my final conversation with the comic genius listen Larry told me I might not be here forever and I said you don't read the Latin at the bottom of your contract no I might not be he said then after a pause he smiled and added I want to tell you something lad I want you to walk in my footsteps but make sure you take good care of my shoes I will stand, I always will. And that's a really good uh, insight into uh, into uh, Larry Harmon's background and his relationship with Stan Lowell and the creation of uh, Larry Harmon that created the, uh, uh, the cartoon characters after Stan's passing. So it goes to show he had a good, strong relationship with him. And you can just see there on that page, there's... Some black and white photos there of um, uh, merchandise that uh, was all created for the Larry Harmon cartoons. Um, you got you can see like here these are like money boxes. This one here, and then this is the uh, Model T Ford model, and then you've got like bed sheets there, which I also have all those items in my in my collection. So uh, this is uh, another great original book. It's one of my favourite um, original magazines on Lauren Hardy that I have, that I own. It's in really good condition and I like to look after it and uh, keep it in top top form. But every now and again like this, it's nice to get it out and have a read and, uh, and remind myself some of the articles and some I've completely forgotten about. So it's nice to go back on, for example, like the one on Larry Harmon and uh, read all about that. So uh, hopefully in the next video uh, I'll go through all my uh, Lauren Hardy film fun, or not film fun, but Lauren Hardy annuals and the, the cartoon magazines which were created by uh, Larry Harmon. So, uh, so there it is, that's the history 
of the Law and Hardy cartoons. Um, the reason why I'm not, I'm not actually in in my usual uh, mini Law and Hardy museums is because it is actually so hot up there, and uh, as it, as we know, being in the middle of summer at the moment, it is so hot as it's on the top floor, and uh, it's just a lot cooler down here to do this, and uh, I can focus more. And also, I've got a new member of the family, and uh, I've got I've got a kitten here, Sophie. I have to stay down here for a while just to just to look after her. And there she is there, nice and peaceful at the moment. Probably give it five, ten minutes and she'll be all scatty again. But uh, So there it is. So uh, hopefully I shall do more uh, videos on, uh, on Larry Harmon Annuals next time. So uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, see you next time. Bye.